Relief is on the way. $1,200 stimulus checks set to arrive in just nine days for millions on Social Security, SSI and SSDI. Hello and welcome back to another video from Money Pro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and latest news on multiple U.S. financial aid programs. Breaking news that's going to impact millions of Americans. If you're on Social Security, SSI, or SSDI, listen up because this one's for you. The IRS just announced a new $1,200 stimulus check package, and it's coming your way in just nine days. That's right, help is on the horizon for our low-income citizens who need it most. Now, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. We've seen several rounds of stimulus checks since the pandemic began. The first major package came with the CARES Act in 2020, offering up to $12 per eligible adult. Then we had the $600 payments in December 2020, followed by the $1,400 checks from the American Rescue Plan in 2021. These payments were lifelines for many Americans struggling with job losses, reduced hours, and increased expenses due to the pandemic. But for those on fixed incomes like Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients, the need for financial support didn't end when the pandemic slowed down. Rising inflation and increased costs of living have hit these groups particularly hard. That brings us to today's big news. The IRS, in conjunction with the Social Security Administration, has just unveiled a targeted stimulus package aimed specifically at low-income individuals receiving Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. This new round of payments will provide $1,200 to eligible recipients, mirroring the amount of the first stimulus check from 2020. But here's the kicker these payments are set to start hitting bank accounts and mailboxes in just nine days. Yes, you heard that right help is coming, and it's coming fast. Now, I know what you're all wondering, do I qualify for this payment? Let's break down the eligibility criteria. Income threshold, this package is specifically targeted at low-income individuals. The current income cap is set at $75,000 for single filers and $150,000 for married couples filing jointly. If your income is above these thresholds, your payment may be reduced or you may not qualify. Benefit recipients, you must be a current recipient of Social Security Retirement Benefits, SSI, or SSDI. This includes both elderly and disabled beneficiaries. Citizenship, as with previous stimulus payments, you must be a U.S. citizen or a qualified resident alien. Dependents, unlike some previous stimulus packages, this one does not include additional payments for dependents. The focus is solely on providing support to the primary benefit recipients. Non-filers, if you don't typically file a tax return due to low income but receive Social Security, SSI, or SSDI benefits, you should still be eligible. The IRS and SSA will use the information they have on file to process your payment. It's important to note that these criteria are based on the most recent information available. As always, I recommend checking the official IRS website for the most up-to-date eligibility requirements. So, how will you receive your payment? The distribution methods will be similar to those used for previous stimulus checks and your regular benefit payments. Direct deposit, if the IRS has your bank information on file, you'll likely receive your payment via direct deposit. This is the fastest method, and many recipients could see the funds in their accounts within days of the rollout. Direct Express Card If you typically receive your federal benefits on a Direct Express Card, your stimulus payment will be added to this card. Paper Checks For those without direct deposit information on file, the IRS will mail paper checks. This method may take a bit longer, but checks should start going out at the same time as the electronic payments. EIP Cards In some cases, the IRS may send payments on Economic Impact Payment EIP, cards which are prepaid debit cards. Now, let's talk about the timeline. 
The IRS has announced that the first wave of payments will begin in just nine days. But what does that mean for you? First, it's important to understand that not everyone will receive their payment on day one. The IRS typically distributes payments in batches, and it may take a few weeks for all eligible recipients to receive their funds. Here's a rough timeline of what you can expect. Days 1-3, the first batch of direct deposits will be processed. If you're in this group, you could see the $1,200 in your account within 72 hours of the start date. Days 4-7, the IRS will continue processing direct deposits and begin mailing out the first round of paper checks and EIP cards. Weeks 2-3, additional batches of payments will be sent out, including more direct deposits and mailed payments. Weeks 4-6, the IRS will focus on processing payments for more complex cases and addressing any issues that arose with earlier distributions. Remember, this timeline is an estimate based on previous stimulus rollouts. The actual speed of distribution may vary. Now, here's the good news for most eligible recipients, you don't need to do anything to receive your payment. If you're already receiving Social Security, SSI, or SSDI benefits, the IRS and SSA have your information on file. However, there are a few things you can do to ensure a smooth process. Make sure your address is up to date with the SSA if you've moved recently. If you've changed banks or closed the account used for previous direct deposits, contact the SSA to update your information. Keep an eye on your bank account or mailbox around the expected payment dates. Be patient remember, not everyone will receive their payment on day one. Unfortunately, whenever there's a new government assistance program, scammers come out of the woodwork. So let's take a moment to talk about protecting yourself. The IRS will not call, text, or email you about your stimulus payment. If someone contacts you claiming to be from the IRS, it's likely a scam. You do not need to pay any fees to receive your stimulus check. If anyone asks for payment to process your check, it's a scam. Never give out personal information like your social security number or bank details to unsolicited callers or emails. The official source for information is irs.gov. Be wary of other websites claiming to have inside information or faster access to your payment. Remember, if something seems too good to be true or feels off, trust your instincts and verify the information through official channels. Now, let's talk about the potential impact of this stimulus package. $1,200 might not sound like a life-changing amount, but for many low-income individuals, it can make a significant difference. There you have it, folks the complete rundown on the new $1,200 stimulus check package coming your way. Remember, payments start rolling out in just 9 days, so keep an eye on your bank account or mailbox. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.